What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today we're going to be showing you guys how to get Mask 11 and 12 from the Division 2. If you guys don't know already, I put out how to get the first 10 masks in my previous video. So I'll put a link to that in the description box. So that will give you all 12 masks after you guys watch this video. So let's get into how to get both masks. It's head over to the Washington Monument. Now there is a checkpoint there. So if you have this checkpoint unlocked, you can just fast travel there. Most likely, you probably won't have it unlocked. So you need to go there and recapture it. One thing, when you first walk up on the monument, you might actually spot the hunter like I did. But even if you spot him here, there's no way you can kill him at this moment. The first thing we need to do is capture this monument and take over this control point so we have access to the supply room. Once you get the notification that it says Washington Monument captured, you'll get a notification that says access to supply room unlocked and that's the next step in unlocking this mask we need to head to the supply room and then go all the way inside now once you get inside these doors you need to open the supply room doors now once you open the supply room doors now you have to do is just go down the rope slide all the way down and there's going to be a computer there now you can only do this at night time guys remember you cannot do this during the day so once you get in front of this computer you need to interact with it and then it's going to show you a map. What I did is I took a screenshot of this map with my cell phone. But you guys have this video, right? So you guys need to find those three locations. And there's going to be three graves there. And you need to salute those graves. So I'll show you each location once we get there. So the first grave I'm going to go to is going to be just southeast of the flooded lead control point. So we're going to head there. And then I'll show you an exact pinpoint once we arrive. So the first gravesite I went to had some wheelbarrows next to it. Once you get in front of the gravesite, this is where you need to salute. So you need to emote salute the grave. Once you do, you're going to see that the screen flickers a little bit. So take a look. When I salute, it starts to flicker and then it stops. So that's how you know you correctly saluted the grave. And let's take a look exactly where I'm at. So this is the pinpoint. Take a look at this. Mark it on your map, however you want to do it. But that is where the first graveyard is. So the next grave site is going to be southeast of the control point. So it's a little bit closer to the control point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel back to the control point. That I'm back at the control point. We're going to mark the grave site. It's just south of it. So we're going to head there. And once I get there, I'll show you exactly where the pinpoint is of where I'm at and where the grave site is. So once you arrive to this grave site, it's kind of hidden in between some bushes, but it's right there. It's one by itself. You just have to get close enough. I'm going to show you where the monument is. You can see I see Unite. When I saluted this time, I didn't get it, so I have to get a little bit closer. So if you don't get the flicker, get a little bit closer. Once you get the flicker, you know you saluted correctly. And let me show you. So it's southwest a little bit, but it's south directly right where I hit that checkpoint. And the next one's going to be northeast of it. So we're going to head to that one right now. Now, once we get to this one, you have to do the same thing. So this is the third and final grave site that we have to salute. Once we get there, you're going to see it looks like it's two grave sites. You see the wheelbarrow. All you have to do is salute it. Once I salute, I get the flicker. So that is the third and final grave site. Now, let me show you where it is on the map. So directly northeast now once you get this you're not going to have enough time to hit the computer again so you have to wait to the following day you can try but the two times that i've tried i wasn't able to do it i had to wait the next day to hit the computer for the second time now the specific time that you have to wait for is 1900 easy way to check this time out is go into photo mode and on the top right hand corner it'll show you that it's 1900 so once it's 1900 that's when you'll be able to interact with the computer and then now you'll get a screen with a big circle so that means anywhere in that circle the hunter can spawn now the most known location where the hunter spawn is at this building where I'm marking on the map so it's just north of the monument now you should get a flicker once the hunter is nearby what I've noticed is if the hunter sees you he will take off so right here the hunter actually saw me first before I saw him and he took off I missed the shot and then I had to wait a full day to see him again my recommendation is using your specialized weapons because those are the only weapons that are going to do enough damage to drop the hunter so he doesn't run away if there are any npcs in the area fighting the hunter will not spawn so you have to make sure you clear the area and there's no npcs in the area 
But right here is what I'm talking about, the flickering. You start hearing that flickering. Monuments flickering. So I knew he was up there. So I start peeking, I'm peeking, I'm peeking, and I see his head. So I'm going to line up my shot. I hit him directly, and I finish him off. I turn around, and we have the Spectre Mask. So let's take a look at that one. It's actually really cool looking. I, I like it a lot. Probably going to be one of the masks I use more often than not. Now the final mask is going to be located just north of here. I'm going to pinpoint the general location. Once we get there, I'll show you exactly where the mask is. Now you do have to do this at night because you do have to hit the same computer at the monument and then you head there. So now we're in the general location and I'm going to show you exactly where it's at. So it's not exactly where I pinpointed but I just want you to put that it's right here. Because we're going to take a left into this area right here. You look up where it says general care. You're going to cut through here. And this is going to be the best place for you to shoot them. So right where that crane is, I'm going to zoom in with my sniper rifle, a hunter appears there. So you have to wait till it's 1900, go hit the computer, and then come back here. Now one tip I've noticed is he doesn't spawn all the time, but the way he does spawn a lot is if you wait till it gets a little bit more dark, and make sure you clear out everything in your area. So everything in the general area, you want to make sure you clear out, and then you're going to notice he's up there. I'm using the 50 cal from the specialized weapon. I felt that was the only weapon that could kill it. If you headshot him, you will drop him. And this is without even upgrading my specialized weapon. So a really big tip is to make sure you clear out the whole area that I'm circling right now. You want to make sure that's all green because I've noticed that's the only time he really likes to spawn. So let's take a look at this mask. And this is the ghost mask. It's pretty cool. It's pretty basic. Um, it's not my favorite, but I'm definitely glad I'm done with all the masks. I have 12 for 12. Remember, if you guys have any questions on any of the other masks, use the comment section down below. A link to the first 10 masks will be in the description box. And remember guys, take your time, have patience. The only way I've been able to solo this was with the Sharpshooter Specialized Weapon. Now, on the first Hunter, I was able to use the Survivalist, the Crossbow, but I hit the same Hunter with my Survivalist Crossbow and it didn't kill him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, smash a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you're new to my channel, first time watching a video, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, so when I release a video, you guys get notified. And as always, guys, if I don't see you guys in the dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills out.